Jason Allen here from Play It Software and today we're going to look at the loudness analysis feature in Play It Live which allows you to get all your audio sounding at a consistent level. So here we are in Play It Live, this is Play It Live version 2.10 and can be downloaded from the website at playitsoftware.com forward slash live. So the loudness analysis feature in Play It Live allows you to get all your audio in your database at a consistent level without having to modify the underlying files. This is a service that runs in the background analysing all the tracks in your database and calculating a gain value which is then stored in the database and applied to the players when the track is played. So once you have loaded all your tracks into the system You'll see them on the right hand side here. You can go to Tools and Loudness Analysis. This will bring up the Loudness Analysis window. Here there is not a lot to set. You can set a target loudness and this is measured in LUFS or L-U-F-S and this is Loudness Units Full Scale. This is a target loudness parameter used by the algorithm to measure loudness. There's a lot of research that's gone on in the past to decide on a sensible default for the target loudness, and that's minus 16. But feel free to adjust this value if your audio is too quiet or too loud. So leaving the value at minus 16, I'll just click on start loudness analysis. And that'll start calculating a gain, so each track has an equivalent loudness, and it'll store that against the track. Some time has passed now and you'll see that some of the tracks have been analysed and have got a time remaining. The algorithm to calculate loudness is a pretty complex one and can take some time so it's best to just leave this running in the background. You can stop and start this process and you won't lose any data. It will resume from where you left off if you have to stop it, but it will run in the background as Played Live runs. I'm going to leave this running now and let the tracks analyse, so I'll see you when it has completed. We are back in loudness analysis and you can see that the status is complete and there are no tracks remaining. If I go to edit a particular track, so I will right click this one and click edit track, you will now see it has a gain value on the track. So the loudness analysis has analysed the track and calculated a gain of minus 0.53 decibels, which has reduced the volume of the track. If you aren't happy with the results of the loudness analysis, you can reduce the volume manually and change the gain value by editing the number. This is something you'll need to play around with to get the value to what you are happy with. If I blank out this value, so I have reset the gain, the loudness analysis, because it's running in the background, will automatically reanalyze the gain for that track. So I click on save and go back to the loudness analysis window, you'll see that it is analysing the track again. And it is now complete. So it will be constantly watching for any tracks that need to be reanalysed and apply them to the loudness analysis process. If I go back to editing the track again, and this time set it to a value, so I'm going to set it to 1 and override what the analysis has set and click on save. You'll notice that the loudness analysis hasn't picked it up this time. So it realises the tracks that are manually overridden separate from the loudness analysis. So any changes that you make manually won't be affected by loudness analysis. It is important to remember that if you have set a gain value and you want the loudness analysis to reanalyze the track, you will need to clear the gain value. 
This will let the lineness analysis set the gain value again. Lightness analysis will also pick up any new tracks that are added. So if I go to manage and tracks to add some new tracks and click on add new, I'll select from individual files. So I only want to add a few more files. I'll select these Bill Withers tracks that I want to add and run through this as you would normally add new tracks to the system. Tracks are now added and if I jump back to my loudness analysis window, you will see that it's analysing the remaining Bill Withers tracks. It says there's about a minute remaining and we'll analyse and go through each of those tracks. So they have equivalent loudness to the tracks that are already in the system. That's all I've got to show for the loudness analysis feature in Playit Live. The same feature is also available in Playit Manager. If you like this video, please click the like button below and leave your comments in the comments section below. And to keep up to date with the latest goings on at Play It Software, you can subscribe to us on YouTube and like us on Facebook. I've been Jason Allen from Play It Software.